Hey YouTube, welcome. Another video. I know it's been a while. Uh, I, I was on a little bit of a hiatus. I got some uh, some little health issues going on that I'm I'm figuring out. Um, but I won't get too into that today. If uh, if I need to in the future, I will. But uh, just doing some tests, seeing where I'm at. And uh, but as you can tell, uh, my health issues. Um, really made me look at me wanting to get a little bit better into shape so I actually just took on another hobby on top of the YouTubing and on top of all my camera gear and everything I bought and it is as you guessed it riding a road bike so I'm currently training to do the tour de shore which is a ride here from Philadelphia to the Jersey Shore it's about a 65 to a 70 mile bike ride and uh, I'm training for that, and it is the last Sunday of July, I want to say, so it's going to be pretty hot out. It's starting to get cold out now, so we'll see what happens with that, though. But I actually went and I bought a 2018 Giant Contend 1, which is the nicest Contend model out of the Contend line that's not an SL. An SL basically is a disc bike, has a little bit more upgrades on the SL than this has. Um, I'm not a huge fan of disc brakes on bicycles, so I went with the Contend 1, which just has the standard uh, rim brakes. It is an aluminum frame with uh, carbon fiber forks. Um, it is the XL, because as you know, if you've been watching my videos, you know I'm tall, I'm six foot two, a little bit over six foot two actually. And I'm probably about 215 to 220 pounds. I'm trying to bring that down to about 195, 200, somewhere around there. And uh, yeah, it's a great bike. I have my water bottle on here from earlier. I still have some Gatorade in there. This bike, straight off the Giant website, is $880. I actually paid $400 for this from a firefighter here in Philadelphia, from South Philly, that I bought it from. Um, he didn't ride it too much. He had another bike. He wanted to sell it to... Uh, get a bike for his wife. I messaged him. I was the first person to give him a reasonable uh, a reasonable offer. So I offered more than he actually took. He only took 400 from it, which is awesome. Bike had less than 500 miles on it when I bought it, so that was great. Um, 31.8 millimeter giant handlebars. It doesn't have too much of a drop, and it's a style frame that you know you're not too hunched over or anything on. Um, you can see the frame comes down a little, curves down a little bit. So it has more of an upright riding position, so it's like an all-arounder commuting bike. Um, but it, it's like a really good, you know, all-around bike. Um, road bikes can get as, as expensive as like $12,000 for a road bike. It can be get more expensive than a car. So um, this being like a $1,000 bike, $900 bike, it is in the entry level still. The 2019 model is about $100 more. Basically the same, so um, it's only a little bit less because it's an older model. So it is about a $1,000 average road bike here. Um, let's see, it has uh, the contact, giant contact Ford saddle, which is, this is the stock saddle on it. I know a lot of people buy a bicycle and they get an aftermarket saddle for it. I actually love the saddle. It's a really great saddle. Um, these aren't the original pedals. These are actually, um, these aren't clipless or anything like that. These are just flat, you know, uh, mountain bike pedals or BMX pedals. You know, they, they fit this two-day work on this. Um, I actually just ordered a pair of clipless shoes and I have clipless pedals that came with the bike. So I have a SPD clipless shoes coming in that uh, my, my wife actually bought me, which is very nice of her. Um, so I'm going to be putting on the other uh, clipless pedals and uh, the shoes to see how I like them with the cleats on them. So that, that'll be a fun uh, adventure. I'll make sure I videotape that as well. It's a shifting system on this. This has matching crank. Um, it has derailleur, front derailleur, rear derailleur. So it, it's a really good deal here. Um, it's a Shimano Soar, which is the nine speed rear, two in the front. It's a Shimano Soar crank on it too, derailleurs, everything. So uh, it is an 18 speed. And the only thing that didn't come Shimano Soar on it are the brakes. The brakes are Tektro TK uh, 312. Um, and they stop great. I put aftermarket pads on them and I adjust them up, towed them in, and amazing. They, they work really well. The cassette is the Shimino CSHG uh, 400. 
11 to 32, nine speed like I said. It's got a KMC uh, nine speed chain. Uh, the chain is still in great shape, didn't need to change it. Uh, the bottom bracket is sealed cartridge threaded bottom back bracket, which most uh, most decent uh, road bikes have that. I'm probably gonna get a different um, bottom bracket in there with some better bearings once I can save up. Um, and I wanna get a different rear hub on there too. Uh, something that clicks a little better. I mean, it doesn't sound too bad, as you can hear. It sounds like a, like a fishing rod, I think. It has a pretty like, pretty dominant like clicking sound to it. So, you know, I like it, I do. Uh, and the, two, the tires actually came tubeless. They're tubeless rims, and it came with tubeless tires, but I switched them out. So I got rid of the old tires, and I got some Continental Gator skins, because they have phenomenal reviews on Amazon about them. And uh, they're supposed to be really good, hard, hardcore um, tires. So I put them on with tubes. So I went the tube tires, put them on, and they're great. They're, they're even a little bit more grippy than the, the giant tires that were on there. They're 700 by 25. I stuck with that size, 700 by 25, the 25 width. I can go up to 28 on these. I probably will on the next set. I wanted to kind of feel out the 25s, and I like them. You know, I dig them. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a great bike. Uh, what I bought for it is I got a computer for it. I got a Cat Eye Strata. Uh, wireless computer. It gives me the speed. It gives me uh, the distance I went. Um, it has two trip meters for the distance on top of the total distance. It has a timer. It has uh, the, the time on it, the, you know, the time. I got a, a phone holder right here, which just, just goes around the top tube or can go around the, the gooseneck here. Really good phone mount. Let me, let me get the name of that for you. Uh, it's called the Bike Tie Pro 2. Now, the Pro 2 is for bigger phones like iPhone Plus and stuff like that. Uh, the Bike Tie Pro is for the smaller, regular iPhones. And it's just, it's a really good mount. You know, it mounts on there really well. Um, it's nice and squishy, so it takes the bumps really well. But let me see. I got the headlight and the tail light, as you can see. Headlight right here. Blinks and stuff, too. And that it, it was $20. It's uh, 320 lumens, I want to say. It's the Gator 320 Blitz. And then it came with this uh, tail light for free too. Blinks, two different kind of uh, cadences on a blink, then it stays steady. And then I ordered my, uh, let's see, I ordered an extra water bottle cage so I can either, I can have, and I ordered an extra water bottle too. So I have two water bottles I ordered. So I can put one here and one here for far distances. And I think that's just about it. Oh, my pack in the back. I got a, um, this here, I think I paid like 10 bucks for it. It's really good quality. I have a spare tube in there. I have a cliff bar in there, I think, in case, you know, I'm really far away from the house. I have a CO2 uh, tire pump in case I need to pump up the tire. It takes CO2 cartridges. You screw it under the valve stem. You screw the um, cartridge in there. Blows the tire right up. You're good to go. So I have two cartridges in there and the actual uh, pump itself, which is about it's about this big. It's really small. Uh, I have a pill container with like some ibuprofen and stuff like that, and I have some band aids in there. So I have everything in there I need. And I think that's that's everything. You know, I, I threw two brand new tubes in there, the tires. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> I keep seeing things on the bike that I did that I forgot about. Uh, the seat stem, um, the clamp on it was an Allen key clamp and it was a pain to kind of tighten it and loosen it with Allen key every time I wanted to just seat a little bit because I had to, you know, kind of figure out where I needed the seat. So I put a quick release clamp on there so it just clamps open and shut. So yeah, that is it. Like I said, um, awesome bike. You know, I couldn't ask for a better deal. Super cool guy that, uh, that I went down and met and got it off of. Uh, I, I talked to him within a few days. I got all the information I needed. I had the money, I went down, I met him, and uh, I got a very awesome deal. Um, I couldn't ask for a better deal, really. And I, I just been riding every day. I've been trying to get my health in better uh, standings, I guess you could say. I'm trying to lose a little bit of weight. Um, and I'm just trying to make sure I'm, I'm healthy and fit and I'm in good shape. So I'm, I'm gonna make sure I'm back now uh, I won't be away any longer. I'll be I'll be back. I'll be here to stay. And yeah, I'm actually um, saving up some money to buy a GoPro Hero 5. I'm gonna buy a nice, good, decent GoPro. The 7 just came out, so the 5 is still really good. It does 4K video. And I'm going to bring you along for some uh, rides of mine. I'm, you know, gonna talk to you about various things while I'm riding. You can kind of see, you know, the scenery, everything that I see. So uh, I can't wait to start that adventure with you guys. 
and to have vlogging ain't done, you know, this is still just the beginning for me. Nice different adventure, you know, and I plan on, you know, bringing you along for all the training so I, I can train real hard oh, and, and, and work out my stamina and, and do this uh, tour de shore ride uh, next, um, next summer and it'll be a lot of fun, you know, so I, I can't wait guys. One last thing, the beard is uh, it's growing back, you know, really well. Really well. Here, let me grab, grab you. Or let me uh, come over here and show you. You can see. It's coming in really good. Look at that. So I'm growing that back. I miss putting the beard oil and stuff in. Uh, keeps my face warmer and stuff in the, in the winter. So I'm going to be growing that back for sure. And uh, I'll be doing some more product review videos and all. So make sure you guys subscribe, comment, like the video. Like always, thanks for stopping by. Stay classy and throw it at Razor.